In 2018, at the beginning of my real estate career, I took the time to explore our city and I wrote a series of articles featuring the historic homes of Lincoln, Nebraska. Having started in architecture, I knew that these historic homes and the stories they could tell was the perfect place for me to start my journey into the Lincoln real estate market. I met some wonderful people that were willing to share their memories and the history of these homes. This is my passion. And this is how I fell in love with real estate. Let me share it with you. After starting the historical home series, I had a neighbor and friend reach out to me to be a part of my next historical home. Joel Zinnaker, this article couldn't have been near as perfect without you. I appreciate so much the time you took to get the permission and take me through the house so I could get the pictures and the story I needed to share this home with everyone. The Harris House is located at 1630 K Street, built in 1900 through 1903 in the neoclassical revival style for Sarah Harris, widow of George Harris. The home was originally built in 1872, located at about 1610 K Street. It was smaller and was occupied by the Harris family when they moved here from out east. After her husband's death, Sarah built an addition around their then current house, creating the large two and a half story Harris house that stands today. In 1918, the Alpha Tai Omega fraternity moved the house from the northeast corner of 16th and K East to its current location of 1630 K Street. The corner lot was then sold to the First Christian Church. In 1935, the fraternity sold the house and it became a private residence again before being divided into 13 apartments. The house was remodeled in 1984, becoming a mix of shops and offices, now being used exclusively as offices. George S. Harris was a railroad land agent that made his way west. As the railroad would gain large amounts of land through government grants, Parts of the land not used for the railroad were then sold to finance construction and build up population around the railroad that in turn would use it. George Harris arrived in Lincoln, Nebraska on July 24, 1864. He was to establish a land office for the Burlington and Missouri River Railroad. It was said he sold over 100 acres of railroad land to immigrants from 1869 to 1974 and 360,000 acres in Nebraska and Iowa for Burlington. The Harris family was largely responsible for many improvements and developments in Lancaster County. When the Congre Congregational Church requested 600 acres of land in Crete, Harris helped to get the Burlington's land gift that created Doan College. The Harrises also had two sons. One went to be the president of the Chicago Burlington the other, John F. Harris, attended UNL and oversaw the purchase of 500 acres for the Nebraska State Hospital, later adding another 100 acres and giving it to the city of Lincoln, which he named Pioneers Park. In 1955, the O Street Bridge was dedicated as the Harris Overpass in the family's honor.